There's one though to cover today for another video review. This time we have Eva Dell's um, Carmen Love. Um, so basically, uh, well, it says uh, <laughs> Carmen Love, um, possibly and wafer there, I guess. Um, yeah, I can't be well, so to say. Uh, I'm sure it's Car Carmen Love, and then Z, and then Z, I guess. And then Waffle Cami, I guess it says. I hope it says. I do apologise if I'm butchering the Polish language, because I think this is a, well, this is a Polish bar. Um, uh, Vedels is a Polish company, make a nice chocolate. Um, do, do a look at the reviews of their stuff before, but never the actual chocolate bars, I don't think. So I've had these for ages trying to do them. Um, just never got around to it, and uh, finally thought, I've got to do it now, I've got to do it. So, yeah. Um, so just say at the bottom what it is in English. So white, uh, caramel white chocolate with wafer flakes. So interesting, it does say caramel white chocolate, so it's not... Um, you have like gold, like in the UK have these gold bars, um, and it's not under uh, Caramax, and I don't think they're actually white chocolate. Um, does this one actually specifically says it's caramel white chocolate? So I don't know if that's just them taking artistic license or whatever, and it isn't really white chocolate, it's just the same as whatever Caramax are made of and stuff like that. But um, yeah, well, it says it, so who knows? Hopefully, it's true. <laughs> um, yeah. So we go. So basically, you can get these in um, in the UK actually very easily. Usually in um, uh, most supermarkets in the foreign food section, they might might easily overlook that section, thinking it's just I don't know savoury stuff. But they do have a sweet a sweet section in there, and it's really nice. And it's quite a lot, and they're quite cheap as well. Um, you know, good good prices really. Not you're not paying excessive prices. This because lots of Polish people in the UK, and there's other obviously other um, countries chocolates and things as well. Um, depending on well, I guess depending on the region, what area you're in. But there we go. Yeah, so what does it say, um, calorie wise? Well, what does it say anything wise? Well, yeah, the, the, the official description is caramel white chocolate with wafer flakes, which I'm really looking forward to actually because I quite I like uh, wafer in chocolate, biscuit pieces in chocolate, so I'm quite looking forward to this. I don't know why I've taken so long to review it really. Um, so, what's we got calorie wise? So, it's, it is a 90 gram bar, so it gives us per 100 grams, which is a bit of a pain, but it does give us per 15 grams as well, so that's not bad. So, that's obviously. Um, what's that? Yeah, <laughs> a sixth, a sixth of the bar. There we go. Is it a sixth of the bar? Yeah, it's 15, 30, yeah, 60, yeah. Okay, um, right. So yeah, so per sixth of the bar, it's 82 calories, 4.8 grams of fat, 2.6 of which are saturates. So sixth of the bar is probably one row. Um, so I assume it's a three by six. Yeah, it's got the little bend actually in the middle where it's broke. But yeah, it's a three by six chunk bar. So there we go. So it's got a bit of flourishes on the side, nothing too dramatic, but uh, we'll give it a measure anyway. Um, still a good three centimetres, four centimetres off, I would say. So it's about 18.2 18 centimetres with the flourishes. It looks quite nice, yeah, I like the look of it. I like, uh, it's got this sort of, a lot of chocolate bars have this kind of style where they have like a, a partition and a wave like effect. I think Phaser do a similar thing with a dish at the side. The Finnish company and um, yeah, Vidal's are doing it like this. I think Kit Kats have it as well. Um, okay, let's uh, let's give it an open. So it says, uh, assume it says open here. I can't begin to uh, actually say what that does say. Hot <laughs> uh, towards, I think. Yeah, hot towards. I assume it means open here. <laughs> Hope it does anyway. Hope it's nothing, nothing offensive. <laughs> okay. Let's go and open. So it looks um, a copy-like actually to look at it. I say copy-like, not really copy-like, but you know, a lovely caramel smell coming from it. And I must say, it looks quite nice. Yeah, there you go. It's obviously split down the middle, so apologies for that. But um, so in case it's a three by six bar, it's very nice, and smooth, quite matte finish. Not really very shiny. As I, said, I don't really know if this really is white chocolate, but that's what it says. Strangely, got two. Uh, Air pockets in roughly the same place there. What's going on there? Might just be coincidence, but uh, so it's a bit like it's been hung from there or something. You can hang it on your wall. <laughs> but yeah, that's very nice. And then uh, clearly you see lots of um, wafer pieces in there. You can see them on the bottom as well, which is uh, always a good sign. So yeah, I think that's very nice. So let's give it a quick, uh, a quick measure before I forget. So I'll put it down actually to measure it. Yeah, so 90 calories per three chunks, which is quite a lot, isn't it, really? Was it 90 calories? Well, I think all most chocolates are like that. 82. Okay, so roughly 
to about four, 15 centimeters. So we have lost about four, haven't we, I think, there. And uh, width-wise, roughly, I'm measuring roughly from the bottom here, not the top, uh, about 7.2. And height-wise, from the, the, the highest points, it's about 0.9 centimeters. Not quite, not, strangely, not a centimeter. So there we go. Okay, looks nice, smells nice. Does it taste nice? Let's find out. <laughs> yeah, lift myself up. Mm -hmm. Hello, one. Good to see you. Hello, Sodor in Poland's watching, by the way. Um, wish I knew any Polish. I don't. <laughs> uh, but I imagine your English is very good. So, um, yes, well, hello. <laughs> um, okay, right. Let's give one section a taste. Mm. Yeah. I say it does smell very nice. Mm. A caramelly smell, sort of like a, yeah. Okay, let's go. Hmm. Well, quite a quite a bit of a subtle, um, subtle, subtle crunch to the wafer. Um, it is there, but it's not massive. You know, there's not loads of them. Um, they are quite a small piece. You can see there. Roughly the size of it, so they are quite small. Now the caramel bit does taste quite nice, but quite um, hmm. Let's say there's not much taste to the chocolate. I don't think. I think it's um, more just a sort of caramel, sort of like a coffee caramel taste almost a bit. I would say, um, a creamy caramel taste. Um, it doesn't taste of coffee if, as such, but I mean it's that kind of taste. It's, yeah, I don't know. Um, might just be me, my mind playing tricks. Because I mentioned coffee before I even tasted it, but um, it just has that kind of coffee cream taste to it without, without much of a coffee or caramel but it's, it's a weird one to explain maybe I'm not doing myself any favours um, but yeah it's a uh, hmm. hmm imagine a caramel latte and that's what I'm looking for hmm hmm not bad not bad I don't think it's um quite as a uh, Nice as perhaps um, maybe a gold or a caramel. It doesn't quite taste as strong as those. Um, might be again because it is you know white chocolate. Maybe it's just because it's different. Um, the wafer again is quite subtle as well. There's not much of it, but there's a, there's a crunch there. But I would like a bit more. Um, I think for me. So <clears throat> I think it's nice and it's quite unique. It's not really like anything else. I mean, it doesn't quite taste like a caramel. It doesn't taste like a gold bar. The wafer's quite subtle as well, so it's not that over, you know, put too much wafer in your face. Um, I'd say it's a bit like a, yeah, a caramel latte, I think I would say. Uh, hmm. Nice crunch to the chocolate, but you can see there, the wafer pieces. Very small. And they're very thin. So it's a very subtle wafer taste. Hmm. I'd like this to be about three times bigger. <laughs> Those little bits of wafer. Um, hmm. Yeah. It's not too bad. I think for me, probably three and a half out of five, I think. It's just above average. Um, but I think I'm a bit disappointed. I was expecting a lot better, I think. Um, hmm. I think I was expecting more wafer taste and probably probably a nicer caramel taste. I mean, it's kind of, as I say, it's okay. I think it's white chocolate, though, because it's kind of like uh, catching my throat a bit, like the way white chocolate does to me. <laughs> Just get that subtle, weird sort of, hmm, you know, like I need a drink type uh, type sensation. Um, yeah. Oh well, not too bad. Um, let me does it say white chocolate in the in the actual ingredients? So I don't think it does. Um, it says dried whole milk caramel powder. I don't know what it would say for white chocolate, it would just say white chocolate, but yeah, it doesn't, there's not in the ingredients list at all any white chocolate or any chocolate of any kind. Um, <laughs> so I don't think it is a white chocolate. Um, yeah, I think that's perhaps a misnomer really as well. So it isn't really white chocolate at all, so that's disappointing as well, I think. Um, yeah, so I think, uh, you know, yeah, that's a bit disappointing really. So I think overall, yeah, it's still fairly out of fire. It's not white chocolate, I don't, you know, it's a kind of, I don't know. You could be mistaken, I think it was. It looks a bit like it should be white chocolate, but I think it is that kind of similar thing. You know, as I say, I'm only going off what it says on the back. There is no 
I mean, there's cocoa butter on there. I don't really know what what you would what you could say is white chocolate. You know, as in what is there some kind of you know? Do a few of these things made up together make white chocolate? I don't know. I would expect it to say white chocolate on the back on the ingredients list, and it's uh, and it isn't there. Um, yeah. So I don't know. That doesn't tell me it's white chocolate really. Um, okay. Yeah, right, well there we go. So anyway, three out of three and a half out of five, I think. I think at this point it's not white chocolate after saying it is specifically. It literally says white chocolate. Um you know, in both languages. So Chocolada Biala, I think. Biata, that's probably the Polish presumably for it, but anyway. Caramel white chocolate, yeah, so anyway, there we go. Labouring the points a bit too much. But yeah, three and a half out of five. It's nice, a bit like a chocolate latte bar. Not the best caramel taste, I don't think, and the wafers, you know, there's not enough of it, so there we go. But um, yeah, it's just above average, I mean, just about, just about. Um, probably should make Docky Dance a three for not really being white chocolate, despite saying so, but I'll stick with a three and a half out of five. <laughs> Okay guys, have you enjoyed that review? Uh, follow me to subscribe to my videos, follow me on Instagram as well. Um, please leave a comment or two, and I'll see you next time. Take care everyone, see you later. Bye. <laughs>